Today's lesson comes from Chapter 1, Lesson 4, on ordered pairs and relations. So the first thing we're going to look at is how to graph an ordered pair. Hopefully this should be review, but the first thing that we always do is we start at the origin. So in a graph, the origin is right in the middle, and that's where we're going to start counting from. The second thing that we're going to do is we're going to go left or right according to the first number or coordinate. Coordinate. And remember we go left if it's a negative number and we go right if it's a positive number. Remember that's our x value which we'll put down next in our notes. Then the last thing that we do is once we've gone left or right then we go up or down according to the second number which is our y coordinate according to the second number or coordinate. Remember we go up if it's positive and we go down if it's negative. All right. Then the next thing that we're going to look at is the definition. What is an x-coordinate and y-coordinate? So the x-coordinate is the first number in an ordered pair. So for example, if we have 2 comma 5, 2 is our x-coordinate, right? Then our y-coordinate is therefore the second number in an ordered pair. All right, so if I have negative 3, 4, then 4 is my y-coordinate. Remember that our coordinates are always x, comma, y. So those are always the two values. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is some more definitions that I need you to get in your notes. So a relation is any set of ordered pairs. Okay, sometimes relations are functions, which we'll look at later. But a relation is any set of ordered pairs. Sometimes it is written just as simply a set of ordered pairs. Um, negative 3, negative 1, and uh, 0, negative 4. All right, sometimes it's written like that. Next we'll look at, sometimes we also put them in a table, and obviously sometimes we graph them as well, but those are all considered a relation. The domain, you should remember from last year, is all of the x values. So the domain of the relation above would be 2, 5, negative 3, and 0. The range, therefore, is all of the y values. So our, do our range in our example above would be 3, 1, negative 1, and negative 4. All right, then the last thing we're going to look at is an example. So if this was my example of my relation, 2, 3, 3, 5, 4, 1, and 5, 6. One way that I can show that relation is just with these ordered pairs, right? That's one way to show our relation. But another way would be to put those ordered pairs in a table. So all we would do is show our x and y values, and we would say, okay, well, in our first ordered pair, when x is 2, y is 3. Our next ordered pair, when x is 3, y is 5. Our next ordered pair, when x is 4, y is 1. And the last one, when x is 5, y is 6. So that would be one way that we could show uh, our relation in a table. And then another way that we could show our relation would be in a graph. Right? And in our graph, is what we're going to do is we're just going to graph them. So we're going to start at our origin. And the first one, 2, 3, we're going to go to the right 2 and up 3. And we're going to put a point there at 2, 3. Then we're going to go over 3 and up 5. We're going to put another point. Sorry, mine aren't very exact. <laughs> we'll go over 4, 2, 3, 4. 
and then up one, and we put a point, and then we go over five, and we go up six, and we put our last point. So on that graph would be another way to show our relation. Okay, be sure that you try these examples, you graph those ordered pairs, and that you go on the next page and express that relation as a table and determine the domain and range. If I was going to determine the domain here, I would say that my domain is 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then I could say that my range would be 3, 5, 1, and 6.